Thanks for tuning in to Weha Mag. And can we say happy spring? Yes, yes we, we, do. Do. <laughs> we hope so. We hope so. By the time you're watching this, we hope it's actually spring here. Better be. That would be a happy May, right? So even if it isn't nice outside, just pretend that it is. Uh, enjoy every day. Uh, my name is Tom Hickey. Uh, I am from WH Media Group, uh, which includes uh, West Hartford Magazine, Weha.com, Connecticut Jewish Ledger, and a whole bunch of other wonderful media. Uh, sponsors and partners, uh, please feel free to check out our website. I won't bore you to death uh, with that. Every month we come to you to talk about what is happening in uh, and all around West Hartford, uh, primarily through our business association. So let's go around the room and introduce ourselves and then we'll get started. Hi everyone, I'm Ronnie Newton and I'm the editor of weha.com and I have been south recently and I can say <laughs> for sure that there are flowers in our future if they're not blooming yet, <laughs> because there are flowers blooming elsewhere. Uh, I would love to see flowers. Um, I'm Barbara Lerner. I'm the executive director of the West Hartford Chamber of Commerce. And I'm Cindy Sanders with Daily Moving and Storage, representing the Home Design District. Great. Welcome. Thanks, for everyone, for coming. Let's take a few minutes uh, to just talk about some of our guests who couldn't make it uh, for this taping because they did have some information uh, that they wanted uh, to share. And then that will give us the rest of the show to talk Great. about uh, all of our wonderful uh, things coming up. Um, first of all, let's jump in on the uh, Blueback Square. Uh, Elizabeth Zygmunt, who had been the marketing director there for uh, a long time, Elizabeth has uh, moved to our uh, uh, broadcast uh, partners, uh, NBC uh, Connecticut. Uh, she is in sales and marketing uh, with them, and I think she's only been there for about a week or so uh, since uh, by the time this airs, so uh, best wishes, uh, Elizabeth. Uh, Robin, uh, who's the general manager, is the constant, and she still is there, but they wanted me to make sure that everyone knew uh, two dates, um, and if you, hopefully, you were there. Uh, we did a wee ha, wee ha ha comedy night <laughs> uh, on uh, the last- You can't help but laugh when you say that. You have to, exactly. <laughs> wee ha ha. <laughs> Comedy right. nights, there we go. And we did it on uh, the last Tuesday of March at World of Beer. Uh, World of Beer and Blueback were the sponsors. And you know, it was the first time, and when you do this kind of a thing, you don't know what that means. You know, does anyone care? Is no one gonna show up? <laughs> you know, whatever's gonna happen. In the spirit of how people come to all of our events, within the last 24 hours, everyone uh, you know, signed up and got their tickets. But the, um, we worked with Paul uh, Gregory, who is a uh, local comedian and uh, producer, and he brought in uh, the lineup of talent. Um, and it was, it was really amazing because there were five comedians, I never wow. thought there'd be that many, five comedians um, in basically an hour and a half venue, you know, at World of Beer. World of Beer was great. We had to work closely with the town because, you know, we had to make sure it was for a mature audience and that we... PG friendly. PG friendly and we weren't charging cover charges and all that kind of stuff. So. Um, uh, Bob and Renee McHugh were fantastic um, and very helpful um, you know, to us, but what happened was totally unexpected and we, we were at capacity. We were te mm -hmm. technically sold out. There were 166 people who could come into uh, by capacity. Uh, who does that? The uh, fire, fire marshal. marshal. You know, uh, so uh, we couldn't have any more people come in and it was a wonderful evening and corporate world of beer got so excited about it. They told Matt, the general manager, Let's, why aren't we doing this more often? So for those of you who may have missed it the first time, uh, we're gonna stick with the last Tuesday of the month. There's no such thing as a good day. So, <laughs> so uh, hopefully you can catch one of those. Um, and so it will be April 24th, May 29th, and June 26th. Um, and again, they're early too. They're so. all early, so you can come right after work. It's like uh, happy hour comedy, happy right? hour, yeah, yeah, 5.30 yeah. to seven. What amazed me, uh, I'd say a good 24 people uh, there are some real groupies out there who love comedy. They were waiting in line at 10.05. Wow. Uh, because unlike me, who wants the table in furthest the away <laughs> <laughs> from the comedian, uh, they want to be right up front yeah. you know, and heckle back and forth you know, with them. So um, it, was, it was interesting to see because we typically don't have you know, that kind of response um, to it. So our, our theory right now with Paul 
is he's going to have five new comedians uh, at each of those venues. Uh, we're looking for a sponsor. Like we're all looking for sponsors for everything. If we can find a sponsor, we can increase or improve upon uh, the talent pool. Mm -hmm. uh, like he said, he has somebody who was just recently on Jimmy Fallon. He could bring them in, you know, and that type of thing. So more headliners, I guess, would be the right word. So we'll sort of see what happens. But we're going to try it for April, May, and June, see what happens. Uh, then the last Wednesday in July is the uh, Taste of Blueback. Um, and then we'll see what happens. It, you know, if, we, if it works really, really well, we'll bring it back in August to the end of the year. But for right now, Robin just wanted me to make sure we shared uh, those dates um, with, uh, with Blueback. Well, um, I mean, spot, spot Coffee. Spot, spot Coffee Yes, is thank you. Yes. I did have coffee there today already. Yeah. Oh, oh right. wow. The Beautiful. place is, is really wonderful. They have a, a gas fireplace and couches. And it's so colorful. Mm -hmm. It's lots of it, seating yeah, areas. It's and and it's, it's a lot of food. It's, from it's what not I just heard, coffee. So right? they have wraps and smoothies. They have um, breakfast, breakfast food. So it's breakfast and lunch, lunch foods all day long, although they're actually open for dinner also. I believe they're open from oh, wow. 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. So oh, they wow. have wow. Yeah, not, the, not the first few days, but right. eventually they'll be, they will be open pretty much all day, all day long. No, no serving of alcohol, but coffee and other types of coffee drinks and smoothies and um, some great sounding food. So I can't wow. wait to, to test it out. And the manager, um, Graciela um, is, is a sweetheart, yes. so. Fantastic. And what they have uh, something that a lot of other places don't. They have a, um, like a long communal table in the back of the restaurant that you can reserve for a meeting group. Oh, wow. Yeah, and that's nice. a really hard thing to find in Yeah, town. for sure. So, and she said, just call. We can reserve it, you know, and then when you get here, you can order that's your and good food, your coffee. Yeah, and yeah. yeah. excellent. Wonderful. So that's a, that's a great addition to Blue Bell. Absolutely. And then um, REI has moved. They're not gone REI from has West moved. Hartford. They right. just moved. Moved to, is that a segue sure, to, to talk about? Yeah. Well, you <laughs> might you might have more information that kind of goes with, with Elmwood, I guess. But REI has um, closed their store in Blueback and had a few days for um, relocation and then reopened on the 24th of April um, in the brand new Corbin, connection, uh, Corbin Collection. Um, right in Corbin's Corner in kind of Elmwood, the West Farms area, and um, along with Saks Off Fifth, which also um, had its grand opening, and Shake Shack, and um, Cost Plus World Market, and Bye Bye Baby are also slated to move in there um, probably this summer. That's about as close as we can get from the developer of, of a timeline, unless and you know something at, more than that. Are they at capacity when those all move no. in? No, they're, no, they're still not. Close, they're, they're yeah. close though. There's still uh, a little So space. if someone's interested, there's space in Absolutely. that area. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and they've done really a beautiful job. Uh, it's that gorgeous. That Sears building was kind of sad and mm -hmm. old, and it's now fresh and beautiful, mm -hmm. and there's going to be lots of plantings, and Shake Shack is going to have outdoor dining. Mm -hmm. So it led to the vibrancy of that whole yeah, area. Yeah, there's a great a patio area. with um, like Edison lights and... Um, you know, it's just, it's just, it's beautiful. It really, it mm -hmm. really is beautiful. At the very end, I was driving by almost every day because it seemed like it was constantly changing. So I was, <laughs> you know, taking new photos for, for my business buzz column, but it, it was just amazing how the finishing touches yeah. well, the signs, pulled together. Yeah, putting all the signs up yeah, and then that makes it being real. lit up <laughs> yeah, at night. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so that, that's a great addition. And, you know, Elmwood always has things going on. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so. and, and I promised uh, Charlie Hilborn. Uh, that I would get another mention, another plug in there for the flower uh, planting campaign that he has through the Knox Foundation, uh, which actually at another meeting earlier today, Barbara and I uh, were talking about uh, that has now expanded into Park Road and Bishop's Corner. Uh, so a lot of people um, have, have gotten onto this. And New Park, too, is doing it. Oh, I, I, oh, wow, I didn't realize that. Home Design District, right? Yes. Home Design yes. District. Yeah. That's fantastic. All right, I did know that. Good. All right, so we'll have flowers everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> thanks, so, so, you know, thanks so it is now. It's, it's well. Um, West Harvard Center always had flowers mm -hmm. because of the that money comes from the parking revenues, mm -hmm. but the other districts did not mm -hmm. have right. beautiful flowers and plantings. Mm -hmm. So now they all have the opportunity. Yeah. And they're sponsored by businesses in mm -hmm. that neighborhood, um, and they're they're planted and cared for by the Knox Foundation. So once you pay to sponsor a planter. You don't have to worry about going and watering it right. or pulling out any, you know, weeding or pulling out any dead plants and replacing them. Knox handles all of that. Yeah, and, and, and it starts with spring. It, it, and goes into fall. To fall. So they, they change will it to change months. plants. Yeah. And so does anyone remember 
it's no more, how much it is? It, well, it's, it's different. No it depends on the, it depends on the okay. business so like association. It's around, it's around 250, 300. Oh, so, yeah, okay. So. Um, but Charlie Check out Hul their website. Charlie Hilborn really started this whole thing mm -hmm. two years ago, and last year he sold 61 planters nice. to businesses. And when I say sold, it's a sponsorship. Yeah. Um, and it really changed the look of uh, New Burton mm -hmm. Avenue in Elmwood. So we're looking to have it really all over. Bishop's Corner, I think, had 12 last year. Yeah. And they're looking to up that number, too. And I've so. often joked with, with Charlie Hilborn saying, welcome to my world, because <laughs> that means that he, and or your world, <laughs> that you made 61, no, 120 phone calls, <laughs> <laughs> you know, pounding the pavement, you know, emails, whatever it was, in order to get 60 people to say mm -hmm. yes. And then you have to go in right. and twist their arms a little bit. And so. the res but the results are, oh, are really amazing. wonderful Beautiful. in town. So really super. Yeah. We seem to be having a theme, a flower theme. I know because how we don't have flowers. How about how about <laughs> golf? Can we talk? Can we talk about golf? Actually, sure. just because it's not it's not an association, but um, I don't know if people know, but um, the Beachland Group, which is a business in um, in Elmwood, owning um, am I? Yeah, Elmwood, Elmwood, and Elmwood, Elmwood and Park Road, yeah. owning Beachland Tavern and the Park Tavern. They are renovating um, the former Angelos on Main and at Rockledge Golf Course, uh, Rockledge Golf Club, and that they're going to be turning that into something called Rockledge Tavern, and that should be opening up this summer. Excellent. So, Fantastic. which is really exciting. I know you posted some of the pictures, and um, the building and interior looks entirely different. They've expanded the outdoor dining yep. patio. They Amazing. stripped all of the paint off. I didn't think I didn't that those beams were there before, really. but they were painted. It was very dark and kind of, you know, gloomy inside. Mm. And they've just really opened it up with, with some light colors and exposed wood. And it, it looks great. And a, an expanded patio that overlooks the golf course. It's, it's going to be our neighborhood restaurant. Absolutely. Right, Tom? Your Absolutely. neighborhood. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> but, but I think it's going to yeah. be a really prime spot for, for people from, from all over. Well, and, and it's a great place because um, Rockledge is, has always been voted one of the best public golf courses in the state of Connecticut. So people really come from all over to play golf there. And um, it, wa it was an okay place to eat. I think now it's really yeah, going to be absolutely. a destination. Exceptional. Yeah, so sure. You will make plans once you're done with golf to go upstairs and right. either go to the bar, go to the restaurant, or dine outside. Before we get off flowers, too, make sure you check out the most recent issue of West Harper Magazine uh, because we wanted to put everybody in a spring uh, yeah. feeling and, and, and mood. Uh, even if we still had snow on the ground. <laughs> so, but uh, uh, it's the beautiful Rose Garden at Elizabeth yes. Park uh, that everyone enjoys, or hopefully you enjoy it. Uh, if you haven't, uh, make sure you go there. They actually do have a, a, a fairly large following for their summer concert mm -hmm. series you know, as well, which you can check out on weha.com to get all the information about that as well. So the, the Chamber loves Elizabeth Park and Absolutely. love going there. And every year the Chamber has a health yeah. and wellness fair there. Yeah. And that is a Rose Weekend, and which happens to be Father's Day weekend this this year too. It I is didn't know that was Rose Weekend. Look it is Rose that. Weekend. I believe it is the second weekend in June. Mm -hmm. So our health and wellness fair is, um, we have a very large category of health and wellness members and they all set up tents. And last year we had 32 tents. Wow. And um, people coming to the park to see the beautiful roses and stroll around can stroll through the health and wellness fair, look at the tents, get information about, we have massage therapists and, uh, you know, lotions and um, chiropractors and dentists and physical gyms and, and physical therapy. And awesome. I mean, the category is very big, you know, psychologists. It pretty much encompasses everything. That's so um, long-term health And that's the weekend. And then on that Rose Monday, weekend, you have the annual meeting, right? We have our annual meeting. Yeah. <laughs> that, that is correct. <laughs> Two days later, um, our meeting is, um, I believe, June 18th at the Pond House. And that's uh, when the chamber thanks outgoing board members and welcomes in new board members. And we honor members of the community. So we have Noah Webster, winner, somebody who's done extraordinary things in the community, our volunteer of the year, our ambassador of the year. Cindy sits on our ambassador's committee. Um, and, um, and then we honor, this year we're honoring members who have had um, an extraordinary year, something they've done that has made them feel good uh, personally or in their business. So we call it Spotlight on Success. So, um, so it'll be again this Great. year. While we mentioned Pond House, I'm going to use that as a segue for Karen uh, from the Bishop's Corner uh, Neighborhood Association, mm -hmm. who could not be with us in person today, but is in spirit. And she wanted to make sure that everyone knew that we have a date in May, uh, the last Wednesday of May, which is May 23rd. 
and that will be for the third annual Taste of Bishop's Corner. Uh, new location uh, this year. Um, you know, we just can't. We just can't count on outdoor venues. It was <laughs> so a little warm last year. Warm would be good. You know? and, la and last year we did luck out because it was a beautiful day. Uh, when we had it, but um, it was actually Karen from Eden's um, idea to um, uh, partner with the grounds and to move the venue uh, into the grounds location. So that is uh, across the street or across the driveway parking lot from the post office or okay. under right. Big Cross Y. Crossroads Plaza. Thank you. That's a great. Crossroads Plaza. Right in that very, the beginning part of it. There's yeah, like a below common Moe's area. and Harry's yeah, Pizza. And all that. And actually, if you were in Moe's or Harry's, you could walk down the staircase and, and get to grounds. So we'll all be um, in that area. Uh, and that will be on Wednesday, May 23rd. Um, and all of the, the entertainment will be from the grounds, which is great. It was last year as well, which mm -hmm. is uh, fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, and then Ronit, we're going to work on some great, um, you know, raffle prizes or items uh, because uh, the grounds will be the beneficiary um, of the raffle. And, uh, and the grounds nice. is a, it's like a teen oh, venue. Thing, people say people that. might yes. not realize what that yep. is. But it's a, it's a kind of like a teen center, but they have, um, they bring in musical groups who are, are teens from middle school and high school who, who come and have a chance to place to play. They have couches, they have video games. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just a nice, safe, substance-free place for um, West Hartford teens to, to come in. Yeah, for kids Congregate. say there's nowhere to go and they don't want to be hanging out in parking lots, which they shouldn't. Okay. Parking lots in our schoolyards and there's actually activities mm -hmm. at the grounds mm -hmm. too, which is really nice. Great. Roni in the grounds, thank you for that yeah. plug. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> that Ronit is actually, and, and we should give Ronit another plug, we, because yeah. she was selected as a Malta House of Care Wonder Woman, and we all know she's a Wonder Woman, but she's, I, I call her volu volunteer extraordinaire. She's involved in almost everything that has happened good in this town. So she. Uh, you know what, Ronnie? I don't mind taking a few minutes just because she does do so much. You know, um, the Miracle League, you know, mm -hmm. was, was the project on the corner of Trout Brook and. Quickly. Quicker, um, no. Asylum. Trout Brook uh, and Asylum. Trout Brook and oh, Asylum. Um, it's a, that accessible um, baseball field. Right. And For it all was the first built in the state. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, and from there, they've done others. I believe. There are others around the state, right. but Ronit was also um, one of the key people, along with Amy Barzak, in um, rejuvenating Jonathan's That's Dream, right. yeah. which opened um, last fall, but really is now getting going now as the spring weather yeah. um, has, as the snow finally has melted, we hope, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, uh, and kids are able to get out and play and, and enjoy that refurbished playground that cost quite a bit of money, but is just absolutely amazing. The, I, I wish I could be a kid again and, and go yeah. and play on everything. <laughs> exactly. and I, I've actually tested out the swings. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. All right, so Ronit, we'll have to have you come on the show so you can talk about yourself. <laughs> but uh, thank you she for all that though. you do. She's so humble. Yeah, exactly. She it's is. true. And so we got to talk about it for you. Uh, it's all good. So let's jump to Home Design District. Well, uh, uh, I love to talk about the flowers and <laughs> of, you know, rejuvenating everything and, and making things look fresh because that is what we do in the home design district. We make things look fresh. Oh, I like and that. Yeah, you like You're that right. little yeah, segue? That's good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> last month, we talked about uh, commercials that we have on, uh, on television, uh, NBC uh, 7 to 9. If you haven't seen them, please go there and see them because we're still running them. We've had tremendous uh, responses from uh, people who have seen them. We've seen an uptick in um, uh, foot traffic on our in, in our individual uh, businesses. And so I encourage you to see that. If you don't want to wake up early in the morning, go to our website anytime you want. Because on our website, if you go to hdd.com, you will see a YouTube. And that YouTube, you just click on it and you will see the faces behind almost 20 um, companies in our home design district. And I just want you to repeat it one more time. It's HDD, like home design district, dot, dot com. com. Yes. Okay. And if you look on, you know, right behind uh, Ronnie, you can see our, our, <laughs> our, 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 <laughs> our logo right there on the, on the, um, on the, on the website. So that is, um, that's one of the things I wanted to encourage you to see. Um, 
you're not just going down an aisle in a big box store. You're going into a business that people not only have, uh, they, they do a lot of the things, but they've been doing them for decades. And so they do it with a passion that their families or whatever have, have come across, uh, have, have, have trained them with, and there is nothing that can, can compare to that. I'm a shopper in the Home Design District, and I just went to Deleen's and uh, got some of their Karistan carpet. Mm -hmm. And uh, right now, it's all on sale. <laughs> so if you go to Deleen's, it's all on sale. I'll tell you, I went to a store and I saw the look and I touched it and it was not the quality that was put into my home. Absolutely beautiful. And you had mentioned too that it, it, it is, you know, generations or years of experience. Yes. You know, prior to Daylene, you know, it was Goldsmith. You know, was there something before that? I don't remember. I'm not sure. Goldsmith has bought another company. That was it? There. Was, yeah, it was okay, right. Name. Can't remember what it was. Yeah. Um, if you know, let us know. <laughs> so, I can't remember that. But that goes to show you in that same building, in that same location, right. pretty much that same area. Um, Cunningham Supply is another one that rings a bell for me. That I don't know which if is it, now the granite. Which is now granite. I, I still say Cunningham. <laughs> so, you know, bit. so uh, it's amazing. You know, well, when you think it's, about it, it's about trust. And mm. so yes. these these are businesses and companies that have been there a long time mm. who work together, and they realize that you can go anywhere. Um, you know, and it's not a, necessarily about price. It's about developing uh, developing a relationship and having trust in the people you're hiring because they're That's coming it. into your home. Right. That's so important to, you know, the investment in your home is so worth not putting in, you know, shoddy materials or or things made with workmanship that's not high quality. And yes. Yeah. And, you know, they, they do, uh, they're, we're very big on, we're doing it. We're not really contracting out for other people to do it for us. You know, I'm going to give a little plug because I don't, I, I, I've done it a number of times today. I don't usually do that. But uh, we had pipes burst, mm -hmm. um, unfortunately. Welcome, Happy New Year, New Year's Day, yeah. uh, at our at our home. And um, you know, I didn't really even think twice about it. But I didn't really know. I, I know nothing. I didn't know what to mm -hmm. do. <laughs> but I admit that. So I called Barrio, you know, because that's yes. who handles our oil and is our plumber and all yes. that. Bob Barrio himself mm -hmm. on New Year's Day came to our house yes. and walked me through. You know, he told me to. Uh, uh, the main valve for water, you know, you just, you know yeah. turn that off. I didn't know where it was. <laughs> it's like, it's like, yeah. you pull your dog. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't think so bad. Exactly. There are plumbers too, and we had a pipe burst. Oh. And <laughs> <laughs> no one came in person because it wasn't quite as bad, exactly. but but they had to talk me through where to find it and, yeah, and how yeah. to shut it off. But just amazing. And you you won't get that in a big box. You won't get that, you know, anywhere else. No, you mm. and, and you won't, you know, get the automated messages yeah, of whatever. Right. No. Um, we also have a Daylene's uh, five hundred dollars off Armstrong floor, up to five hundred dollars off Armstrong flooring. Another thing uh, that you wouldn't get is up close uh, a visual. At Connecticut Shower and Bath, they have two frameless displays. One is uh, glass on on steel, and the other one is glass on a black mat. You walk in there. If you like them, they can custom design it for any size tub or bathroom. Mm -hmm. You don't get that with the confidence mm -hmm. that you would yeah. um, from, from a home design district. Uh, Can anyone speak to, to um, everything that's going on on the street? I mean, if, you know, for those who have, have gone to New Park Avenue or gotten to the home design desk oh area, there's so much going on. 616 New Park. Uh, there is so much, <laughs> and you know, I just wish that you know, uh, our economic development people were here, because they really, <laughs> no, but the, you know, the uh, quality of, of the look and of uh, the tenants and of the offerings are just, um, I, I you know I, I don't even have a word. They just ex have expanded so, so professionally and so warmly that you do want to. Well, you're about to get some new neighbors too. Um, yes. If, if they're, they're supposed to start moving in actually May 1st to 616 New Park, which is that new mixed use development right next to, just north of the Elmwood um, Fast Track Station. So this is really, I mean, it's being touted as a success story by the whole state, really, in. Mm -hmm. in terms of development right next to the busway. Um, 54 units, um, 32 of them are either um, are 
market, I'm mm -hmm. sorry, workforce housing, there's some veterans units, and the rest are market housing. And it's a striking, beautiful building. It's a beautiful statement. And, and the Home Design District has been going in there saying, you know, <laughs> we can complement whatever you do. Well, we will all help you do that. Thank and as, you. And as usual, <laughs> uh, we are almost out of time. But yes. I, did, I did promise Joy uh, in my office that my reason for wearing the uh, We Have Vineyard Vine uh, product today is that it is all on clearance sale. We want to get rid of this product so that we can buy new product. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a lot of people who have been inquiring for some reason light blue caps uh, are really important and people want them, so what we need to get rid of the inventory. So if you go to weha.com slash store, uh, it's all on there. It's deeply, deeply discounted, at least 50% off um, all of the Vineyard Vine Weha merchandise, all of the Halo uh, merchandise. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen a tote bag, uh, <laughs> you obviously <laughs> missed Ronnie and her sister uh, featuring <laughs> them on the beach uh, in, in Florida. But um, I brought this today because I had known uh, that Barbara uh, Lerner had fractured her uh, <laughs> foot and that she needed something to tote everything around him. So she gets oh, a wee so in your mind. Hey, you know what? It, it, right. it actually matches the you, yeah. There you go. <laughs> and she was trying to hide it behind the table, but uh, we weren't going to let that go. <laughs> we'll ask, so we'll nice. ask about the real story down the road. <laughs> And, uh, and the Weha product uh, for the Halo Portable Power, uh, which is essential and very necessary. Ryan calls it her life support. Oh, it is. Um, I just wanted to support. remind everyone uh, that that also is on sale on the website as well. And Cindy, you get oh, um, a, oh. a portable power pack Your for that. Thank you. Will never die again. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> right. Thank you very so, much. Uh, so, uh, so anyway, we don't know what we'll give away or what we'll be doing next week, and hopefully you'll be healed by then. Maybe. Uh, a couple of months. Oh, gosh. Okay, maybe not. We'll see. <laughs> so. I'm going to be bedazzling it or something. All right, there we go. <laughs> It'll be nicer weather then. So uh, in the meantime, uh, please feel free to tell all your friends to tune in to watch. Check out all of our information on any of our websites, be it Home Design District, be it The Chamber, uh, or wehad.com, and we'll see you next month. Thanks Thank so much you. for Thank tuning you. in. Thanks, Thanks, you guys, for Thanks. joining us. Thank you. It's great.